Hello and welcome to today's video. I've been feeling a little uninspired, so I thought maybe we could clear our heads with a swim and go looking for some Pokemon underwater. One thing there's no shortage of are these little crabbies. Or, as we call them in the uh, Nova Scotian region, uh, rock crabs. I slowed this portion of the video down because, well, you can see why we call them crabby. we'll leave this little guy alone for now and head on over to my sketchbook. Krabby gets to go right up front in the foreground here because there are so many rock crabs around and snorkeling around and seeing just how many are under the water make my feet feel a little uncomfortable so much so that I got water shoes really quickly. <laughs> Schools of tiny fish are something I kept encountering a lot of, and on one occasion the mackerel were even chasing them. But for today's purposes, I think they're a school of barboach. I picked barboach to represent the schools of little fish simply because they were always so long and slender, and it just made sense to me, and they're all so easy to draw, in my opinion, so YOLO. What is this little creature here? Oh, hey, a little star you. What do you know? I always had a hard time drawing star you, so I draw five lines to represent the middle of where I want each leg to go, and ever since I started doing that, it was just so much easier. shy, we just want to say hello. And I feel like our last Pokemon here is a fairly obvious choice. I waited to line stare you because I wasn't sure just how much I was going to be overlapping. So once I get this all inked, then it's time to color everything in. watercolor markers today instead of my usual alcohol markers simply because of the paper I'm working on but it's also fitting for the theme I suppose. And with a few finishing touches with colored pencil just to add in some background color I have a sketchbook page filled using inspiration I gained from the real world. No better inspiration than that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it, and it certainly wouldn't have been possible without this guy here, my partner in crime, Brock. That's right, I went Pokemon hunting with a guy named Brock. That's gotta be worth at least a like, if not a subscribe. <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Thanks again.